The other thing with fasting and autophagy, uh, since it is getting rid of a lot of the dying old cells, it isn't just like our white blood cells, but it's also getting rid of like precancerous cells. Hey, what's up fasters? Dr. Legrand here, here for another fasting video. If you are new here, we post videos every uh, Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on fasting, natural medicine, other health topics that you guys might be interested. So if you have not subscribed to our channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any other future videos. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how fasting and autophagy can reset our immune system, be able to get a completely new immune system. So if you're somebody out there that just has a really poor immune system and we're now heading into the fall winter months where we tend to get the flu, the cold, and maybe even just uh, you might deal with asthma or it might be even just you just really have a sucky immune system and you want to renew it, this is definitely a technique that you can renew your immune system. So you're definitely not gonna wanna miss out on this. I'm gonna talk about the research, dive into the research, about how and how the process of how fasting and autophagy can renew our immune system. So first off, you know, fasting really can, if you like fast for three plus days, has shown research that you can reset your immune system and get it completely renewed. So you might be asking, okay, how does fasting and autophagy, now when it comes to fasting and autophagy, they're pretty much the same and same thing because anytime you're fasting, you're that's the best way to induce autophagy. So if I'm talking about autophagy or, or fasting, it really is kind of implementing the same kind of thing of how we're boosting our immune system through fasting. So first off, when your body, uh, when you stop eating completely, your body will go in what we call as a energy reserve. The body's going to, because when you stop consuming any nutrients, the body is going to try to find something in the body to use for energy. So it goes under what we call as an energy reserve. So that's the very first step when it comes to fasting autophagy to be able to start unlocking how to boost and renew our immune system. So when this happens, the body's going to lower its uh, resistance to insulin. And what this is going to allow is allow the body to really start consuming more of the glucose or the glycogen storage. So there's going to be a influx or a purge through the bloodstream of glucose to be able to utilize anything that's remaining to deplete our liver glycogen storage, also the glycogen storage in our muscle, anywhere else to be able to use that as energy. Once it's depleted that, and this is why I think it really starts depending on it, because I know you guys are all going to ask, how long does it take to really boost your immune system? The research kind of shown that, you know, three plus days uh, does depend because, again, it depends how much glycogen storage you have and also how much glycogen storage you have in your liver and muscle and also the fat cells. So it really depends on that. But once that has happened, what the body does is it's going to go towards dysfunctional cells, dying cells, cells that are not working very properly, kind of getting old, and we don't need, this is where autophagy comes into play to start really starting to get an influx or purge in the bloodstream of all these dying old cells to start consuming them and flushing them out and using them as energy because the body is always going to consistently use energy. Now, it doesn't need as much energy. The body does under fasting state will also start reserving its energy and using it as efficiently as it can during a fasted process because it knows, okay, there's nothing coming in. So we got to, you know, be very efficient and reserve it and not make sure that we're going into, you know, our essential organs or going into our muscle tissue when it's not necessary. So that's why they go over after dysfunctional cells after going, uh, after depleting most of the glycogen storage. So as is depleting dysfunctional cells, this also includes white blood cells. So you might be asking like, wait a second, isn't white blood cells good? Aren't those the soldiers to fight off infections? Yes, they are. And in fasting, they have found that white blood cells do decrease, but for very good reasons. So hold off, you know, hold on here. I'll explain in a minute. But when, you know, fasting does deplete the white blood cells, again, the body is trying to reserve as much as it can and utilize what isn't necessary. 
So it's not just, it's not consuming good white blood cells. It's consuming old dying white blood cells that aren't working as well. So it'll start getting rid of that. So keeping in mind, I rather have new white blood cells versus old dying white blood cells sitting around in my system. I rather have new cells. So that does happen. And I'll tell you when that does happen. The next thing that what will happen is IGF-1 levels will decrease. And what IGF-1 ha- does specifically, it is it does implement human growth hormones. So you might be asking, okay, why do we want to deplete those levels? Because IGF-1 has been shown to be linked to precancerous cells or at least some cancer when they are elevated to significant levels. So we want to make sure those are being depleted, especially when we're trying to renew our immune system and boost our immune system. We want to bring those levels down. The other thing that it does bring down is also PAK enzymes. And with lowering that, what that does, it also helps kind of pave the pathway for regeneration of new cells. So allowing new cells to be regenerated by lowering PAK enzymes that can help with that process when we start to introduce foods back in it again to regenerate new cells. So once you've you know been fasting for three plus days, uh, I'm just saying that because it's where I'm seeing a lot of research is where this happens when it starts really regenerating our you know our immune system and boosting our immune system, we start eating again. Okay, so what's going to happen is the body has been under this energy preservation, basically trying to utilize anything that's not necessary in the body to use as energy. But once you start introducing, so it's gotten rid of a lot of different cells. Okay, so they're gone. Our white blood cells have decreased. So the body knows it needs to regenerate things that have been lost. It's like, okay, we've gotten rid of all the old things, all the old cells. It's time to now get some new ones. So that really they're just like taking up space. In my opinion, a lot of the white blood cells are on other necessary cells. They're just taking up space. And so when we introduce food again, the body's going to be like, okay, we got to regenerate this. And white cells are going to be the first thing that they're going to regenerate. And they're going to be new, brand new, fresh. And basically that's why fasting and autophagy with that can give us a new complete immune system I mean, not completely renew. I mean, you're going to have ones that have been remaining that aren't old though, but at least getting new white blood cells refreshed and having a better immune system boosted up so that you can fight off infections and illnesses and also even come to a point where you're preventing against cancer as well. Because when you start implementing this more and more and keep doing things like fasting to be able to boost this and renew it, it's going to help prevent a lot of illnesses and even cancer because of the stimulation of stem cell regeneration and other cells that can help keep the system in a process of fighting any dying or very infectious cells or even precancer cells to be able to, you know, basically keeping our body away from anything that could be harmful. So what experts and nutritionists say and biochemists, they find this process when you are fasting for this long, it's basically resetting your immune system because essentially you're getting rid of the bad or the dying and replacing them with new cells. I think everybody would want that because you can feel younger, more live, uh, and also just have a more white blood cells that are better soldiers in my opinion, to fight off any kind of infections. The other thing with fasting and autophagy, since it is getting rid of a lot of the dying old cells, it isn't just like our white blood cells, but it's also getting rid of like precancerous cells, things that could be very dangerous for us in the long run. And so the more you're implementing fasting, it's also helping preventing from cancer. The last thing I want to talk about of why fasting can also help boost our immune system. The other thing that we do use fasting for, and a lot of people use it for, is for losing weight. And there is a lot of research out there when you are overweight, your immune system tends to drop. You tend to be sick more and you just feel sluggish. Your energy is low and it's just really difficult to kind of fight off a lot of the infections. You're more prone to infections when you have more weight. The other thing, of course, is you're more prone to inflammation in the body. So when you're more prone to inflammation, you're prone to more infections. 
Whereas fasting, we know not only does it lower the weight, of course, that's going to help boost the immune system by lowering the weight, but also along with that, fasting has been shown to reduce pro-inflammatory markers for inflammation, which again is just going to benefit overall with helping boosting our immune system and then just our overall health. So I hope you guys found this very beneficial. Go ahead and leave in the comment section below of if you guys have benefited from fasting and boosting your immune system. Have you found a difference when you've done prolonged fast? Do you feel like, wow, I haven't gotten the cold for a while or wow, I don't tend to get the flu like I every time I do every year. Do you find, Have you found that uh, benefit? Go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. I know everybody will appreciate it. And then as always, if you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right over here. Check out our other playlist, fasting playlist right here. And then of course, until next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.